Look, all this, all this talk of illegal migration in Europe, in the United States, it ultimately comes down to a contest of what is governance. Who is governed, which countries are governed well. And if so many of these countries around the world are incapable of governing themselves, then, then it's time for us to just put to just to, to put the imperial hat back on to say we're going to govern those countries if you're incapable of governing yourselves because enough is enough we're done being invaded because our own national security risk is at stake exactly national security interests are at stake you can say that about pretty much all of Africa they're incapable of governing themselves and benefiting their citizens because the governments there are all about looting and pillaging and lining their pockets and going shopping in Paris. Instead of actually right, hold making on a their second. country hold a better, on. people better on the land. left are going to watch this. They're going to say, "Wait a minute, Eric Prince is talking about being a colonialist again." Absolutely, yes, enough. Because I, I, you, if you go to these countries and you see how they suffer under absolutely corrupt, made-up governments that are just criminal syndicates, the people of Africa, the people of Latin America, a lot of them deserve better. Now, some countries are really getting it together. Look at what El Salvador did. Bukele, murder capital of, 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 of Latin America, he said, no more. Now El Salvador is safer than Prince William County. And he took Just all south the, of Washington, D.C. He put all, all the, the drug cartel guys leaders in prison. in prison. Ecuador, about to do the same thing. New president there. The previous presidential candidate had been assassinated. But um, uh, new guy gets elected. He announces... He's contracted with the same building contractor that they built the prisons in El Salvador, going to build in Ecuador. The prisoners there, the, the cartels revolt and try to take over the capital uh, in Ecuador a couple weeks ago. So it's not all bad. There's some great governance. I, I, I Argentina. Like, I, I like at Argentina. God bless Mille. I mean, right. Yes. So, but the countries that cannot fix themselves, particularly in Africa, the worst. It's time to think about other governance options because they are clearly not capable of self-governance. Or bringing the professionalism they need to capitalize yes. on their own natural resources. And, 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 and the most of all, stop lending, stop the aid programs, which really only benefit the elites in those countries to the detriment of the little guys. Or it's benefiting China, right? Who's taking over infra building infrastructure. Sure, because China doesn't care about the governance. They, they do black bag diplomacy, paying cash to the right people to get what they need signed, and they're on their way. All right, well, for our exit here on, on this, 